And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there, I could have prevented it all. story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. It's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. 
each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Um, wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, oh no. I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine. You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha-ha! <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. Click on it to drop out any time. Wow, when he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Eric. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and click with the left mouse button. Of course, you can also start your day without our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. Tune in again anytime. Just click on your radio. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh, never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Take one for later. It's supposed to be good for your eyes, and an adventurer like me. Hmm, strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long extinct mammal. The Kremlin Wolf. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! It's okay, Mum, I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. Huh. This could come in handy. 
Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket, could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie? Of course! Oh, boy. Pick blackberries, check. <laughs> Empty. I think Mum already picked up the mail. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. As usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash! Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin! Oh! Ah, better not leave it open. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. here in the woods. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, I can't help it. Mom said, I think that... Mom, I think... It's so quiet here, like the town is miles away. I always used to sit on this rock, huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. Oh, but that's really hard on the arms. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. That's not worth my last mat. Mum's today. Nah. Mm. Mm. Uh, my school. But, adventure, at least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs. Four-legged time travellers. Mom! Yes? What, what was I supposed to pick for you? Um, it was raspberries, wasn't it? Blackberries, silly! Blackberries! Use the basket on the windowsill and don't just stick the berries in your pockets. I won't. Thanks! <laughs> Who says you can't teach a 12-year-old new tricks? Sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm. Maybe we'll have eggs next spring. Well, 
dry as a bone. It hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. Oh ho, oh, oh ho, oh, they look delicious. They're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red colour. Today. You made yourself come crazy bones. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! Ah, you win this round, Grand Bush. Nah. Uh. Charge defective. Oh. <laughs> I'd better hold on to. There are black for this one. That's not... That's... That... You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. You never know. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. Uh. I'd bet. I'd bet. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone, but where should I do it? The stone is too slick to draw on, and I don't want to. Put What am I so I can't ca Ugh, can't reach that far with this Oh that's The stone is uh, I could crush the chalk, but where should I do it? Nah. The stone is too and I could wait. I'd better not. Hmm. But I can't think of anything to draw. Hmm. Right. I need inspiration. I'd better not. There's no space. I used to fish for tadpoles. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. I'll take that. A st a st a stick Right, I have no other choice. Ah! 
No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. They also look like they need picking. They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. Why does a spider have to make its home in my blackberries? Ha! No way! You can't fool Jerry Hazelnut. Good idea! Now it's off. They're screaming. Ha, I could do this in my sleep. Whoa. Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom! Yes! I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Yay! Wait a sec. Only the first piece. And <laughs> the biggest, Jerry. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. Huh? What was that? Something's in there. Whoa, holy cow. Oh, okay. Be brave. As long as it's not a gremlin wolf, there's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. A flying triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the centre of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. The stone is and I could where should I I'd better not I'd better An excellent I would There Huh? Cool. How cute It almost seems like they want to tell me something And now they're gone again Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. Bark won't be much help. Bark won't. Bark won't. 
Bark rope. Bark. Bark. I'd better. Crumbled chalk on rock ledge. An installation by Jerry Hazel. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! It pulverized the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. That feels good in my hand. That one. That one. That. That. Also in. I. I. Yep. Okay, now everything is in. I don't think there was anything in the letter about throwing. I don't think there is any... There's a weird symbol in the poem of how he made... After drawing on rock, then add black in turn, the kind you should... Black and white as they combine the inside of your vessel line. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. There's a weird... How... After... Then add black... Then three more things. Tree skin at the crossroads. Draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring. Set. I don't think that. I don't. Okay, that should do the trick. Right, let's do it. 